Hey everyone, welcome to STEM Edgeer, your source for expanding your imagination and learning all about STEM related topics. If you would like to watch more of my content on STEM Edgeer, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a new STEM Edgeer video. If you also like this video, drop a like down below. You can also follow me on Twitter by clicking the link in the video description or by going to Twitter and searching at STEMAGEAR. So now on to today's topic. In my last video, I gave you an overview of a cool digital tool that I use to organize my notes, and it's called Microsoft OneNote. In that video, I showed you how to set up notebooks, sections, and pages. Now that you have learned the basics, I want to share with you some cool features that will make your notes look awesome. Some of the features we'll be talking about today are highlighting, drawing, tags, using a stylus, inserting content, and finally, sharing. Keep in mind for this video that I'll be using the Mac version of the OneNote app. So things may appear slightly different for you if you're using a PC or a mobile device. So let's get started. The first feature we'll be talking about is highlighting. In OneNote, there are two ways you can highlight text in OneNote. The first way you can highlight text is by using your computer mouse. First, highlight the text that you want. Next, navigate to the toolbar where you can find the highlighter icon. Next, make find the arrow that's next to it. Then, choose a color that you would like. Once you choose the color, it will apply that color to your highlight. If you have a stylus, highlighting is supported here too. You would go to the Draw tab, then click the highlighter icon. Here there are some default preset colors, but if you like some more different colors, find the ink color icon, and then click the drop down menu that's next to it. It will be an arrow that will pop up with the drop down menu. Here you will have some ding colors, or standard colors to choose from. Choose a color that you would like. And finally, you can adjust the thickness to the type of text you're highlighting. Finally, just use your stylus to highlight the text. So now you know how to highlight. Next, let's talk about drawing in OneNote. The drawing tab in OneNote has some very useful features. The first useful feature is called Lasso Select. This feature allows you to select text and move it around. Let's try it out! First, click on the Lasso Select feature in the top left hand corner. Next, drag your mouse over the text you would like to move. So I would like to move this text right here. Once you have highlighted the text, you can move it around easily like this. There are also some other cool things you can do using the features in the Draw tab. There are pens and highlighters that you can select. For the both pen and highlighter, you'll find some preset colors. And you can also pick your own by clicking this ink color drop down arrow to, to choose even more colors. You can use your mouse or your stylus to freehand draw. And you can also choose to do things like changing the thickness. And finally, once you're done, you can click the eraser button to erase your work. And finally, you can use the shape feature which is located in the insert tab. Make sure you navigate to the insert tab and find a place where it has some geographic shapes like some squares, some lines, and some graphs. Choose one of these shapes, and then you can use your mouse to adjust the size and positioning of your shape. And you have some basic customization options, like changing the color and desired thickness. And that is some cool things you can do in the Draw tab. Next, we will talk about tags. Tags are a cool way to mark text and bring it to your attention to what's important. Tags include things like stars, checkboxes, and question marks. To use a tag in your notes, you need to first highlight some text. So I'm going to highlight the task after school club. 
Next, you need to navigate to the tag library, which is located on the home tab where you can find things like to do, important, remember for later, question, and check mark. You need to choose one of these tags right here. So I'm going to choose this to do to, to, to do tag. And for specifically this to do tag, you can interact with it. Like, for example, say you, you completed the number one task on your to do list. Just click on the to do tag and it will mark it as done. So that is some ways you can use tags in your notes. Now we're going to be talking about inserting content. It can be really helpful to insert files in your notes. For example, if you're taking notes for a class and the teacher gives you a handout, you can insert this handout in your notes for reference. Let's walk through how to insert items and files. On the Insert tab of OneNote, you can access several features that allow you to insert items such as tables, pictures, audio recordings, and files. First, here is how you add a table. First, click on the table icon right here. Then, there will little, be this little pop-up menu where you can choose a size for your table. Once you choose a size, it will automatically create a table for you, and you can start entering some data. You can also insert pictures from your device you've saved and you can drag them and drop into OneNote. So here's what it looks like. So I have a saved image on my desktop. And here I could just go and drag and drop into OneNote. Right here. And I can adjust the size. The screenshot feature, which looks like a camera icon, allows you to take a screenshot and insert it into your OneNote page. So... I'm going to go to the page where I drew a shape, and I'm going to take a screenshot of that. So we're just going to click here, and then we're going to click on this little place where we took our screenshot. We're going to click on it, and it will, and then it will create the screenshot and add it into your notes. So I'm just going to paste it into the pictures tab here. Another cool feature you can add is adding a rec audio recording in OneNote. For example, maybe you want to make an audio recording of how to pronounce a certain word in your notes. You can do this by go make sure you're in the Insert tab of OneNote and then clicking this Audio Record button and it will start recording. I'm not going to demonstrate it, that in this video though. The last thing I'm going to be talking about in this inserting content portion of the video is inserting attachments like PDFs, Word documents, and videos, and much more. The way that I will be demonstrating is the same way for all attachments. So, I have a simple PDF document from that to-do list we use for the tags. So, I have converted that into a PDF document. Now, you need to next you need to drag and drop this PDF into the OneNote. Now it's going to give you a prompt. Today we're just going to be talking about inserting it as an attachment and as a printout because those are the two most important things that you'll probably be using. So when you click insert as a printout, what this does is it inserts the PDF directly in the OneNote without having to click any links to go anywhere else. When you insert a PDF as an attachment, what this does is that it's going to give you a link to a different application on your computer to view it, meaning that it won't directly insert it like I did here, and it will open a different window in a different application, like, like here. The last cool tip I want to tell you about in OneNote is that you can share notes with other people and allow them to view and edit your notes. To share your notes, click on the share icon on the top right hand corner of your screen, right here. Once you click, there are some options for sharing. Some of the ways you can share is by inviting people to a notebook, generating a link so people can click on the go to the notebook, 
or sending a copy of the current page you're on. If you would like to invite people to a notebook, you need to click on the first option right here. Now you, you can type someone's email address and there's options to allow them to edit or just to view. If you would like to generate a link for people to come to your notebook, you need to click on the second option and it's going to give you a prompt. Do you want to generate a link just for people to view or can they edit along with viewing? So you need to choose one of these options and then it's going to generate a link that you can send to someone in an email. The last option you can do for sharing is sending a copy of the current page I'm on or you're on. So what you would do is you would click the third option and then there'll be a drop down menu and you can either send it as a PDF attachment or as an email message. You can click this email button or a share button for more options like Outlook, Messages, AirDrop, and so much more. These options may vary depend, depending on what you have set up for your Mac. And that's how you can share your work from OneNote with others. Thanks for joining me in this Damage Year Adventure. Remember, if you like this video, then click the like button down below. And if you want to see more Stemager content, click the subscribe button. And finally, you can follow me on Twitter by clicking the link in the video description or by going to Twitter and searching for at Stemager. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.